Hello everybody and how are you today? I uh, haven't put up a YouTube video in a long time and I just wanted to help you guys out a little bit and give you a heads up on this. Uh, some people might know about it but um, if you want to have a regular start menu in Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 and you're having problems because the regular menu is like keeps on sending you to this Windows 8 and you need to work you don't have time to play around um, there is a solution for your problem. Uh, it's called Start 8 from Starduck, and uh, believe me, I'm not making any money on them, so don't don't think this is any affiliate or anything. I just want to show you guys. It's called Start 8 from Starduck, and you can they have a 30-day trial. You can download it from CNET if you don't want to go through the whole hassle of their download because when you download it from them, you need to register. But in the end, you will also have to register even if you take it from CNET, but it doesn't matter. So you can download it from CNET as well, and I'll put the link in the, in, the, in the description. Once it's downloaded and you install it, it will give you this, this option. Um, I have already installed it, I use it regularly, and this is how to set it up. So you can set it up, this is the theme that you want to set it up with, this is the actual icon at the bottom at the start menu now this is will change the icon and this is a custom image that you can change whichever image you want it to have you can pick an image or you can take your own image that you want to have then you can this is the theme so if you want the default theme with black edges this will change it to black edges around here this will do it rounded Windows 7 theme, so it makes it rounded nice. And this will do a shadow, which I don't know exactly what it does, but anyways. Um, this is default theme. You can disable translucency, you can change the color. Then you can configure how you want it, how you want the menu used to look and what links to display. So administrative views display as links. So once I do this, I will have it. In the in the um, in the administrative tools on this, it's like Windows 7 had the options, but it's a little bit different here on the configuration tab. Then there's control, what you want the keys to do when you're in when you're running the program. So it runs automatically at startup, but you can configure these things uh, what each thing should do. Start button shows start menu, or you can do start button shows the Windows 8 menu, start button shows Windows 8 menu on less dock, start button shows start 8 menu on less in tablet mode. So there's a lot of things that you can do with this start 8 um, start menu. Then you have the desktop, what should happen, and in control itself you have that disable all windows 8 hot corners with when a desktop so this is one of the good uh, the good things that it has because disabling all windows 8 hot corners will eliminate this charms the charms bar which it used to have which has um so like when i enable it i should get the charms <coughs> i should get my charms back it's not here yet um one second Well, so the left is disabled. Uh, let's see. Oh, now I have my charms back. You see, if I if I if I disable all Windows 8 hot corners, there's no charms anymore. So this is basically the idea. The idea is to be able to work for people that need their computers for work and don't have time to to get into this thing every time. You just use this Starduck. It's 4.99 and you can use it on a couple of computers with the same registration so no worries and i hope i help you guys out and have a nice day